We are home, we are safe, but we are definitely off our schedule. What is up you guys? Welcome back to another video, another Tuesday, another grocery haul. My name is Kira if you are new and today you guys I am so behind in officially sharing with you all the things that I wanted to share. So we are home, we are safe, but we are behind. Like my schedule is crazy. You are supposed to see this video that you're seeing right now like almost a week ago. It has just been so nuts being that there was going to be a snowstorm here in Texas and we held off from leaving Long Island a little bit later than we expected. It's just been like literally one thing after another. We got home super, super late on Saturday and then Sunday and Monday was just unpacking and adjusting and getting the kids back to school. So now here we are on Tuesday and I have a lot to make up for. So like I said, these are like groceries that were kind of purchased before we even left to go to New York and then the grocery haul that Paul picked up for me while I was gone. So I have an Amazon Fresh to share with you. I thought it's kind of fun to share those. I don't know, you guys let me know if you like watching them, but if you have Amazon Fresh in your area, it really is something great to try out. If you have Amazon Prime, it's free. They have a two hour delivery window, so I think of that is amazing and all their products have been really affordable like comparable to everything else in the grocery store and they've been fresh their produce and everything and it's delivered to my door like I said within two hours for free so if you have that you know uh, Amazon fresh in your area I just feel like it's a great facet of their company to check out so I have that to share a super small Target haul but even though it's super small I literally don't bring anything into this house that I don't turn the camera on and share with you guys and then I have that Walmart haul because like I said when I heard there was going to be snow here at first I wasn't sure if we were coming home or not and so I went ahead and placed a grocery pickup for Paul so that he could get ahead of the snow and have it in the fridge for me for when I got home and then like I said we pushed our you know trip back but it was still waiting here for me but it was definitely sitting here for quite some time and so I have that to share with you guys but then I have a what's for dinner for you tomorrow and it's a collab so I'm excited about that on Thursday you'll see part one of our New York trip on Friday is lunches. Saturday, you will see a Sam's Club. So Sam's Club will be where I pull the giveaway. No giveaway winners for today because this was kind of like a strung together thing. I'm not even going to have you like leave stuff in the comments because it's going to get too crazy. This was just supposed to be a bonus. So on Saturday, when I do my Sam's Club haul, I'll pull last week's giveaway winner and we'll start a new giveaway. Daryl already gave me his mystery item and that is on my grocery list. So that'll be for Saturday. Sunday's part two of New York and then Monday is a recipe video and then we're back again around to a grocery haul. So a lot of content coming up. Like I said, I'm so wicked behind, but I'm going to do my best to catch up because all this stuff is pretty much just ready to go. I just needed the time to pull the trigger. So that trigger is now. So I hope you enjoy, I think, together between Amazon Fresh, Target, and Walmart. It's about $200 with those three things. I mean, that is over like a week and a half. Um, and it's also like a snowstorm grocery haul, which those are kind of fun. Um, but like I said, you guys will see more of a bigger grocery haul on Sunday. And then I'll probably end up going back to Walmart uh, for the following week. But all right, you guys, Saturday, sorry. I don't even know what I'm saying right now. All right, too much talking. Let me share with you groceries and meal plan. Okay, you guys, so here is your super small little Amazon Fresh haul. It was $38.62, and it was actually prompted by the cream cheese. So I had purchased some like double packs of the Great Value cream cheese from Walmart, but I was really hoping to grab the five pack from Costco, but they just didn't have the Philadelphia that had like the knockoff brand that I'm not a huge fan of. And so I thought I would be fine, but then I made a really yummy croissant bake. I believe you guys have already seen that video or it's coming up really soon, but it's a chocolate chip croissant bake that was so delicious but it required two packs of cream cheese and that ended up eliminating everything that I had here and I don't like to go without cream cheese just because I know my kids do bagels during the week and I do things like salami and cream cheese for sandwiches and so I decided I wanted to do cream cheese but 
Walmart's pickup is a $35 minimum and Amazon Fresh's delivery is a $35 minimum. So if I had to spend 35 bucks, I was just gonna have it sent to my house. So I used Amazon Fresh as a way to get a couple of things that I haven't been able to get from Walmart. So I did, however, get the Amazon brand, which is Happy Belly, of their cream cheese. I've gotten this before and we like it. So I got two packages of that. And then I did just get a bag of the Jet Puffed Marshmallows. Again, I was trying to hit my minimum. And I have some Rice Krispies here that I want to use up. So I'm just gonna go ahead and make some Rice Krispie treats. We don't have you know too many like snacks and stuff on hand so I'll make some homemade rice krispie treats and bag them up and put them in the pantry for like lunches and stuff and then Annie's fruit snacks are really hard to find other than places like Target and stuff Walmart doesn't have them Costco didn't have the big box I had really no fruit snacks for the kids so I figured I would use Amazon as a way again to get like a few things that I can't normally find they had a bunch of this stuff at Sprouts but you know what happens when I go in there so I've been trying to avoid that so I did get the Annie's organic bees bugs and butterflies there's five pouches in here and it's strawberry raspberry an apple and then I did get the Annie's of the just the berry patch Jake really likes the berry patch and the little kids really like this and then I thought maybe they all could try these it's it said new on like Amazon's website but it doesn't say new on the box but it did say new I had like a little new icon maybe it was just new to the site I'm not sure but I've never seen these before and it's peel aparts just like remember like Twizzlers pull and peel but it's Annie's version and so half of it splits into strawberry and the other half splits into fruit punch and there's 12 of them in there so I thought that was kind of different so I grabbed those I completely forgot to put hot dog buns in my cart for last week and I got Paul hot dogs to have while we were gone and how can he have hot dogs without buns so they didn't have the top slice like Daryl really likes but they had Hawaiian and this is again the Happy Belly the Amazon brand so we've never had like a King's Hawaiian kind of hot dog bun so I grabbed that um, literally the juice box selection at Walmart really everywhere has been so limited every time I put something in my cart it just never gets here so I did just throw one of the honest kids super fruit punch into my cart and I was hoping I got it and I got it so that's good I'm gonna load that up in the fridge for the kids right now uh, I got some of the again the happy belly brand but this is just the Neapolitan ice cream if you guys saw my Dollar Tree haul from a couple of weeks back I got those little gear deli brownie in a cup mug kind of cup things and so I thought that we would be able to put ice cream on top and make like brownie sundaes in a mug but you need ice cream for that and then I placed a grocery order and never purchased any so I went ahead and grabbed that in case it was something that we would want and when I do the Neapolitan which is just the vanilla chocolate and strawberry it just makes sense because it kind of covers everybody's bases uh, when I tried to do my Walmart order one thing that they did not have was any noodles like the pasta was impossible everything was out of stock or like just not available and then they even what I was able to get they try and to substitute so it was like a hot mess but this is the 365 which is Whole Foods brand and it's the organic wide egg noodles so I needed some egg noodles to have on hand because I wanted to have that with a meal and then I've been dying to get jumbo shells it is literally impossible to find this you guys like every time i go to find large jumbo shells it's literally unavailable everywhere so i don't know what the hang up is over these but i'll link up above the recipe that i've shared of making the buffalo chicken of these but i make a buffalo chicken stuffed shell with like an alfredo sauce on the top jake daryl paul they all really really enjoy it so i'm gonna go ahead um and make a batch of these coming up i'm gonna do the buffalo chicken and then i also do some regular just for those who don't like the spicy but still it's pretty much a house favorite so i was glad that amazon had those and then like i said there was literally no pasta options at walmart and what i did pick they substituted so i decided to get something that walmart doesn't normally have so i got the campanelli it's like almost like little thin lasagna noodles that are get curled up they remind me of little cornucopias i really love these because i feel like the sauce and or whatever that you are putting on this it kind of gets trapped in that little hole 
and so when you bite into it it's almost like a burst of flavor so I really like that kind of pasta and then Daryl had asked me for a couple of items but you guys know that we do like a mystery item each week so I made sure to hold in my mind like what he asked for so I could get that but that I didn't get the other things that he asked for and he asked for a couple of dressings we were kind of low on dressings in the refrigerator I only make my own ranch and then sometimes I'll pick up another one but I very rarely have a variety and he asked for a few so I got him the wishbone creamy French and then I got him the wishbone creamy Caesar so at least he had a couple of more choices but all right you guys that was it for my little Amazon fresh haul I'm now going to roll you into what will be a super small Target haul all right, you guys, can you believe that this Target haul was just under $60 and it's just a couple of items and one item was not labeled as a substitution, but it's not exactly what I wanted. And then I don't even remember what it was now that I couldn't get. There was something I couldn't get. Pickles, maybe, but it was, I really got inspired by some of the red card deals. That's some of the things I love about Target. I love being able to lie in my bed at night and surf their website and there being no minimum for pickup and being able to just kind of put things in my cart as per their offers and be able to save money that way, especially since I have my 5% red card. So for food options, I got these. So I picked up the drumsticks, the little drums. Sometimes these are a good option for the kids, like maybe they didn't finish all of their dinner and they still want dessert and they deserve a little something, but like not a big something. I like that these are snack size. But this is actually Mason's favorite. You see how it's like the regular ice cream with just a swirl on top? He doesn't really like the regular drumstick, like the one that's covered in nuts or the cookie dip. He'll eat it. It's just he's not like a huge chocolate kid. So he doesn't like the fact that it's like a big dome full of chocolate for regular drumsticks. So he really enjoys this. But this is only on the little drums or like a big king cone, which is not a drumstick brand. The king cone's like the one you get off the ice cream truck. So I thought Mason would like this and it was 25% off. So we paid under $5 for this, which is even cheaper than Walmart. So I went ahead and put that in my cart and then these were 25% off also. So I think I paid like three bucks for this box of Annie cereal, which is again, cheaper than Walmart. And I have never seen the birthday cake one and I thought the kids would like it. So it's the Annie's organic birthday cake bunnies and balloons and it says sprinkled with fun so I think that they will like that I was even debating if I want to save that for Easter I know it's kind of crazy it's January when I'm filming this but it looked kind of Eastery especially since it's bunnies and it's you know most Annie stuff is bunnies so I thought about maybe saving it but we will see and then the other thing that was 25% off was the lilies and I and 25% off of Lily's is obviously a great deal. And so I went ahead and put that in my part cart, the dark chocolate morsels, and they gave me the enjoy life, which is not the same thing. This one's like nut free and gluten free. So it's definitely good for those who, you know, have certain dietary restrictions, but it's not the low sugar or no sugar added ones like I like of the Lily's. So I complained about it. Well, not complained. I like said something on the app that it was the wrong item never had to do that with Target before because I truthfully never have issues. Target is nothing like Walmart when it comes to the pickup. I've never had to do that. And they said to discard this or keep it. And then they refunded me immediately, which I thought was amazing. That was the most thorough and like easy return policy ever. Like I said, I've never had to you know, say that I received the wrong item before, but that was awesome. So technically we ended up with free chocolate chips. So got those. And then I just grabbed the seventh generation, the fabric softener. I used to get this from Grove Collaborative, but they don't, Grove doesn't offer like this big container and this big container is such a good price. So I went ahead and grabbed it and then I grabbed a detergent. So this was $3 off plus it was a, if you bought two of them, you also got a $5 gift card. I almost debated doing that, but I ended up changing my mind and not just because it was like already, like I said, almost $60 for just what was here. So I was like, all right, I'm just going to get the one. But now that I'm standing here thinking about it with the $3 off plus the $5 off coupon, that 
really would have been a good deal. But anyways, I got the Priscilla Pro Clean, the Intense Fresh. That's my favorite laundry soap. And I just add a little bit of that with the free stuff that I get from Pure and Gentle. And it makes for the perfect laundry combination. Uh, last thing I picked up was a bra. I know it's probably like unconventional. I don't normally share that in a haul, but it is something that I picked up. But this is like one of the downsides to ordering online. Like I said, I love that I can lay in my bed and shop the app and use the coupons and everything, but I had a gift card for Christmas and a bra was something that I needed. And I went through and this was like the only one that said like that it was a t-shirt brand because it was seamless. So you weren't supposed to see like any of the straps and it was supposed to be side smoothing and then it was supposed to be full coverage. And I'm already big chested. So I'm very particular about finding something that's full coverage will really keep everything like in. I don't like to show a lot of cleavage and stuff. And so I'm like particular about what I get, but I don't get the ones that have like foam in there. Like look at the size of that. That is ginormous. Everybody was laughing at me when I took it out of the bag because it seriously looks like something out of a movie, like a grandma's over the shoulder boulder holder or something. Like I don't even know. It had rave reviews, this brand, Paramore. I've never tried it before, but all the reviews were so good. And honestly, I, for reviews that were so good, I really wanted to give it a try. I really enjoy other people's perspective. Like I stopped going to Victoria's Secrets and all of that just because I wasn't a huge fan. Like I really appreciate people's opinions when they tell me where they get theirs. I usually get the Bali brand from Kohl's, but being that I had a gift card and I needed one anyways, I just figured I would give it a try. I'm going to try it on. I'll put here on the screen whether or not I've kept it or if I'm going to return it. It was $21.99 plus the red card. So that probably covers, you know, roughly tax. So for a little over 20 bucks it's not like a huge expense for a bra but if it's not like something i'm actually going to use because it's too big or bulky there's no use for it so that may end up going back but we shall see i liked the beige like champagne color i didn't have one this color and i like the smoothing texture and stuff and i like that it has a lot of clasps because that really holds me in good but this just looks super big and bulky i don't know if i will adjust well to a bra like that but we shall see all right you guys you have one more haul to see and that is a Aldi haul so stay tuned for that okay you guys so there is your just kidding haul what I thought would be Aldi but hopefully you guys have already seen that Aldi haul I really was expecting to just attach that haul to this one and make it like a bonus grocery haul but like I said that just didn't work out with me going to another grocery store so you guys got that as your regular haul and I'm attaching this one to this haul and so this is just what Paul picked up I spent $115.04 and this was more just because of that panic of the snowstorm. So I just wanted to have a couple of things in the house in case we needed it. And he just threw things in the freezer, in the fridge, and outside in the garage for me until I could film it. So there is literally no rhyme or reason to how I put it out on the table. But I will go ahead and jump right in. So I got a 12-pack of the Cool Blue Gatorade and then a 12-pack of the Orange Gatorade. And then I got two cases of soda, one 12-pack of the Sunkissed orange and then one 12 pack of the great value root beer i am going to sam's probably tomorrow so i'm thinking because i picked this up and then it sat here for a couple of days and i expected us to go through some of this i probably won't need to pick up any drinks at sam's maybe just juice boxes for the kids so otherwise we should be good on drinks i got a bundle of bananas we're gonna have to go through these quickly now because i expected to be diving into them much earlier got a five pound bag of the Yukon Gold Potatoes, got a three pound bag of the Organic Gala Apples, one of the value packs of Cookies and Cream Pop-Tarts for Jake, one of the six pack of the Great Value Apple Juices for the little kids' lunches. I wasn't even going to try and put these in my cart again since I didn't get them last time, but everybody wrote in the comments how good that they were and that I should try and give them a try anyways. So I put them in my cart this time and we got them. So I'll have Daryl try the peanut butter cream pies. I'll just throw some of those in his lunchbox. They do look yummy. Kids were out of string cheese, so I picked up a great value pack of that. 
one great value pack of the French fried onions. We've been using these in a bunch of recipes. And then one bag of the cantina style tortilla chips. That's actually the only one that was available. I tried scoops and I tried something else and that was the only one that they had. So I grabbed that one large pack of beef bologna for lunches. So we should be good on cold cuts for the kids all week. And then three quarters of a pound of white American cheese, which that is fine. But then I did go ahead and get three quarters of a pound of ham, expecting us to have used it already by now. So I actually think that now that I'm home and I'm going to go to Sam's and get the cold cuts tomorrow that we love so much, I think I'm going to take this now and freeze some of it, like chop it up and freeze it for a time when we do omelets. And then the rest of it I'm going to use for or croissant sandwiches. I used like six of them to make other sandwiches last week, but now this week I'll use the other six of the dozen and I'll make some ham, egg and cheese like breakfast meal prep and I'll go ahead and freeze them so that I don't waste that. Uh, I got the Mama Francesca's. This is the classic Parmesan cheese. This is our favorite of the like shaker kinds. I obviously would prefer the tub cheese, but I only really go to Trader Joe's like once every six weeks or so and I never want that cheese to go bad. It's too pricey like to waste my money on it. So I usually get this. This is more of the shelf stable kind. And then when I go to Trader Joe's, I'll get the other cheese. And when we run out, we always have this to fall back on. Uh, speaking of things that I fall back on when I don't have the ones from Trader Joe's, these are just the great value buttery round. So very similar to a Ritz cracker. But like I said, I would prefer the ones from Trader Joe's. But it's still a couple of weeks before I head there. Got the Great Value Italian breadcrumbs. I feel like this is a promotional video for Great Value, but they certainly do have great products at a good price. So I got their Italian style breadcrumbs. I got a small container of their heavy whipping cream, as well as a small container of the French onion dip. I did get one thing of peas and carrots for the dog's food, and then one of the home-style meatballs. I think I'm gonna use this for a Super Bowl recipe for next week, and I think that it'll be very minimal what I need, because I think that from everything I have here, I've been able to put together a pretty good menu for that. So went and grabbed the meatballs for that, and then I also just picked up the 12-pack of burgers. I don't often, buy these because I'll just make my own but sometimes these are pretty good because if you defrost them with a sharp knife I can cut like right in half because these are nice sized burgers what are these are these quarter pound burgers yes they're quarter pound burgers so they're pretty nice size if you can see in the package but if they defrost a little bit with a sharp knife you just cut them in half and then I'll stuff them with like cheese or mushrooms or bacon barbecue sauce like all different kinds of things and it's just a little bit different so I just went ahead and grabbed that for convenience uh, a two pack of the great value cream cheese I use always use this for a ton of recipes just one beef steak tomato for sandwiches only one creamer for Paul and I this is the peppermint mocha especially with the pods that I just got for Christmas that are very Christmassy flavors just the peppermint mocha goes so well uh, one of the little carafes of the Tropicana orange juice. I got a half gallon of the French vanilla coffee creamer for Daryl. Just a small little thing of organic grape tomatoes. And then just a one pound container of strawberries, which actually don't look the greatest. And then one cucumber. But again, all of this was purchased on Tuesday of last week. And then I was expecting to come home on Thursday and then didn't come home on set till Saturday and then now I'm filming this on Sunday so stuff has been sitting for a while so I definitely need to get it into the cabinets and start getting some use out of it but otherwise you guys I hope you enjoyed our three-part grocery haul all right you guys so here is the meal planner for February 7th through February 13th I got a chance to put some stickers on it which I definitely am trading the like ability to make it full of stickers for the breakfast and lunch tabs but it's kind of okay I guess for me I still have a little bit of room to play with my creativity but I think I like the organization more of being planned but for yesterday 
uh, that is the kids pop tart day. They're only allowed pop tarts and on Mondays and Saturdays. I know that sounds a little silly, but if I gave them the option, they would choose crap. And so I tried to limit what they take and give them other options for other days of the week. So the kids had um, pop tarts for yesterday, but I had cereal. And then for lunch, they had little mini corn dogs. And then for dinner, you guys, we took those veggie chips and we did like what we said we were going to do with the potato sticks and we crushed them up. We added a little bit of ranch seasoning to it and then crusted the chicken and fried it like fried chicken cutlets. And we had that along with some mac and cheese. Holy cow. So super delicious. Like definitely something different than just using breadcrumbs. So that was good for this morning. The kids just had a banana and they split a granola bar and I just had a banana and a coffee. And then for lunch, the kids had another one of those American dream butter sandwiches with some fluff. And then tonight I made a taco lasagna bake. I think I've shared this because it was a food hack that I got. So I'll look and see if I can find that video and I'll link it for you. But it was a whole bunch of different like taco themed hacks and it was really delicious. So that's what we had for tonight. Uh, tomorrow morning, I'm going to have the kids split a bagel. They're going to do pizza rolls for lunch. And then for dinner, we're going to do French onion chicken, which I do have a cooking video for that. So I'll link it and we're going to do that with mashed potatoes and some carrots. And then on Thursday, we're all going to do cereal. I want to be able to finish the milk that we have because I have uh, new milk from Sam's Club. And then we're going to do cold cuts for lunch that day. And then for dinner, I have some stew meat that I'm going to marinate. And we're going to do a barbecue kebabs with some rice, like a coconut rice. I have that in my first cookbook that I wrote with the girls. Make sure you guys check that out. It's linked down below. But that coconut rice is so amazing. And that goes so well with grilled pineapple. It's going to be 70 degrees, you guys, in the middle of February. So I'm taking advantage of the nice weather. And we're going to barbecue that day. On Friday, I'm going to have the kids split a regular peanut butter and jelly sandwich for breakfast. I feel like that's really sustainable, but I'm not going to push them to have a whole sandwich. Just a regular, no American dream butter, no cookie, marshmallow, anything. Just regular peanut butter and jelly. They can split that for breakfast. I thought they would like that. But then they're going to have breakfasty foods for lunchtime. And then for dinner, we're going to do those buffalo chicken shells that I talked about with the Cajun Alfredo sauce or regular shells and then some salad on Saturday morning. I'm going to have some oatmeal. We have like a ton of oatmeal and I just never ever eat it. And like I said, that's pop tart day for the kids. We'll do fish sticks for lunch. And then for dinner, again, it's going to be another warm day. So back onto the grill, I'm going to do some pork ribs with a pasta salad and some corn on the cob. And then on Sunday, I like to do like a big breakfast if everybody's home. And so we'll do just some eggs and toast. And then that day is Super Bowl. So as far as Super Bowl food, we're going to do ham sliders. I decided to take that whole thing of ham and just freeze it. And then I'm going to make those ham sliders on the King's Hawaiian Rolls because everybody likes that. We'll do wings. We'll do mozzarella sticks. I have pizza rolls. I have those little like beef croquette kind of things that I got from Trader Joe's. I have those like tangy meatballs I'll do in the crock pot, the little mini tacos, and then the pretzels with queso dip. So tons of food. And I know that probably sounds like a lot, especially since we're not having a party. It's just us here, but I already planned my week of meals for the next week. I didn't put it in my meal planner yet, but it's planned out on my phone and I have leftovers planned for Monday. So as long as I like make enough food, Monday will be a nice relaxing day of just kind of reheating food from the day before. But that is it you guys for another grocery haul and meal plan. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And if you did make sure to give it a huge thumbs up, subscribe. If you are new comment down below and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye you guys. Thank you.